Quorum is 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 you got the same kind of size, but Quorum's a little bit bigger. I mean, a little yep. bit taller, and he's bigger, and he is also very fast. And mm-hmm. unlike Vaughn, you like you said, he's got that yards after after contact, but it's really more of they don't touch him because they really can't because right. he he really right. not he's not built that way. But Quorum, right. even though he's he's a little guy. He mm-hmm. breaks tackles like he's a big guy. I mean, this guy yeah. just bounces. You have to wrap him up. I've seen yes. countless plays as a Michigan fan, countless plays where he is stopped at the line of scrimmage, stopped in the backfield, and not only does he uh, break the tackle, but he can go for 50 yards on the same play. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he leads he leads the country in, in yards, uh, in runs over, over 15 yards. Number one in the country. And... I think he's a pinball to me. If you don't wrap him up and get a good clean hit on him and tackling in the, in football now, it seems like a lost start. Yeah. I mean, it's almost, it's, it's a predominant that, that player defenders just don't tackle the way they used to. They go for the big hits. They show their face mask to the ground. They're not even looking at the guy that they're going after sometimes. And I think Coram is the guy that takes advantage of that. I mean, he, he bounces off guys. Not only does he bounce off of them, it's almost I've seen him do this several times. He accelerates off of missed tacklers. It's almost like he uses them for leverage to <laughs> kind of catapult himself out, out into the open field. I think his greatest trait, and you have to watch this from the all-22 angle, is his vision. I think that, that it's a really hard trait to find in a running back, especially in college, that can forecast, anticipate, and react as fast as Quorum does. And I think that's where you can hide some of the size issues. I think he's an outstanding inside runner. And I'll take that pad level, quickness, suddenness, toughness, and the vision over a you know a Brandon Jacobs, two hundred and forty five pounder that just wants to run guys yep, over. Yep. And I think that he's going to last longer some of the guys too because he won't take as many of those hits to the ankles and knees that a lot of those big backs. Do. And he's also just like Vaughn, you can put him out in the slot. You can yep. now he gets overshadowed because Edwards is an elite receiver. But if you need right. to, you can put him out there, and he can be a good. Uh, he can be really dangerous in that part of the game as well. Yep. Okay, because I got to tell you, for his size, I don't recall. I'd have to. You have to remind me who the last mm. running back that was his size that was this impressive. Mm. Yeah, I mean, off the top of my head. I mean, I think Tiki Barber was probably bigger than Coram height wise. Yeah. And then he keeps put a little bit. And I think Coram will probably pack on a little bit of weight. But I'd have to go look at my all time measurable spreadsheet sure. to kind of give you yeah. an accurate list. But you on can't, that. it just doesn't pop into your head. It's just like you have to yeah. probably go back 20, 30 years. It's, 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 I, I, mean, I don't honestly, remember. He's got, I'm not comparing him to Emmett Smith, but he has that similar body type and running style where hey his on paper he's not a big guy but he plays big because of the his running style not and a bad the fact run. that he knows how to use his, his size to his advantage. Yeah. 